And that's why the warning comes out in advance of a possible funnel coming down to the ground, which then equates to a tornado. So uh, that's the reason why you'll get many tornado warnings to come out, but it doesn't necessarily have to be something that's at the ground because we can see it aloft in the atmosphere. Get the warning out. If it doesn't come to the ground, that is just great. But for right now, it is the tornado warning that's in effect until 4.45 p.m. So we still have that in effect for 35 more minutes, and that is encompassing areas in northern Fairfield County. Again, uh, as far as what we're seeing in the rotation department right now, it's a very broad rotation. It's one that, uh, you know, on Doppler, it's not the most impressive in the world, but uh, certainly uh, something that uh, we have to take very seriously, and we need uh, those in the Reading area to seek shelter as we try and assess to see if, in fact, this rotation is coming down to the ground. Over towards, again, Palestine, Rock Raymond areas along uh, you guys on Route 25. Uh, this uh, cell is moving in your direction as it crosses Route 58 into the round the Reading area at the moment. Uh, so. Uh, this all a part of a big line uh, that is um, basically stolen across the state, and that's the reason why we have uh, the extreme flood potential. Uh, so uh, it's a situation where, you know, we haven't had a whole lot of rain. Obviously, we've been in a drought situation. Now, all of a sudden, we are in a moderate risk for flooding. Uh, and so that is significant. And that means that we're going to be finding a lot of problems, perhaps, as we go through the overnight on into tomorrow, because this is just the start of the situation. So the tornado warning, uh, that is concern right now in northern Fairfield County. But along this whole line, as you can see, as it moves its way across northern New Haven County, right across through Middlesex County, uh, we have a flash flood warning now, a flash flood warning that is in effect until 7 p.m., for areas in northern New London County. A flash flood warning is now in effect until 7.15 for northern New London County, as uh, this uh, is an area, again, in association with a stationary front. Rain forming along the front, pouring on down, happening all in one location. And you know, we've had this happen uh, once or twice in the last month or so, and now we're talking about what is a, a situation in northern sections of New London County where you've had bursts of heavy rain already today. So, yeah, okay, let's go to the Waterbury cam here and take a look and see how we're, we're viewing uh, from south of Waterbury. All right, there we go. Uh, you can see uh, that it's, uh, yeah, that would be uh, perhaps the cell that we're looking at to the south. It is uh, rain pouring on down. I don't know that I can see any rotation within that particular area there, uh, but it is definitely, um, again, all due to this boundary that is moving its way up from the south. Uh, so, flash flooding, dangerous, can be deadly. We dealt with it this time last year. We haven't had it much this year, but we've had some situations that have been a big problem this year. Uh, so, again, uh, you've got this red box over here in Fairfield County. Uh, that is depicting a tornado warning in effect until 4.45 p.m. That is for areas in and around Reading and now moving up towards Newtown. Uh, so this is where we are talking about in this whole spot here uh, at the moment. Doesn't look that impressive as I you know, try to look for some rotation in here. Doesn't look as impressive as it did uh, maybe about five, ten minutes ago. Uh, but again, it's... Um, it's something that, for you guys, uh, uh, you know, again, passing the Saugatuck Reservoir and moving points onto the north there. Um, it, again, this rotation was strongest over Reading just about 10 minutes ago. Now as it's moving its way to the northeast, I can see that it certainly has weakened. Uh, so it's moving very slowly, uh, and it is uh, going to be, uh, again, moving its way on up for you guys towards Newtown. Uh, so again, Rotation, we see it, doesn't necessarily have to be coming down to the ground right now as far as what we've been depicting, uh, perhaps not the case, but uh, the um, uh, storm slowly drifting onto the east and uh, moving its way again across Route 58. 
uh, and across uh, areas, uh, well, heading on over towards Palestine and Monroe. Again, tornado warning in effect until 4.45 p.m. Uh, for all these areas uh, in northern Fairfield County. Again, I don't see anything that's depicting any significant wind in here, uh, so that is good. That is good. Again, just like last week, we have rotation that's depicted by Doppler radar, but it does not necessarily mean it has to be down at the ground. At the moment, this cell does not look anything like it did about 10, 15 minutes ago. It is looking much, much weaker. It is looking uh, like uh, whatever kind of rotation that we did have, especially right over Reading, has now weakened considerably as it's moved on to the east, as it's moving over uh, towards Botsford and Upper Stephanie and, uh, and heading on over towards the Stevenson Dam area. So that uh, certainly is good news in terms of the tornado warning. But I want to emphasize that the heavy rain is our biggest concern. Our concern is not tornadoes out of this particular setup. It's heavy rain, local street, highway, basement flooding. This whole area is going to fill in even more as we head through this evening and overnight. And so as far as, you know, what we're going to be dealing with as we work our way on through into um, tomorrow morning, it's back to work and school tomorrow. And, and therefore, you're going to have to be tuning in uh, to Gil and the gang in the morning to find out what's going on because there can be road closures tomorrow morning. Uh, there's going to be, again, maybe problems with your basement. Yeah, we are talking about some towns that are going to easily pick up five inches or more of rain. Uh, so this is the line uh, that is formed. We've got the flash flood warning that's in effect till 7.30, northern New London County. You guys over here, you've had a very wet day. Some places have picked up two, three plus inches of rain already today, and now you're getting more, and that's the reason why we've got the, the flash flood warning that's in effect for northern New London and portions of southern Wyndham counties. As you guys are getting hit real hard, Providence area is getting hit real hard as well. So this boundary is just really not moving much. We'll have to see if we get a flash flood warning to come out here in areas... Uh, New London County, right, we got New London County, the, the flash flood warnings, New London County right now, that's in effect till 7.30, and we have the tornado warning, although right now, looks like whatever has been there, especially over Reading, has weakened considerably over the last five to ten minutes as it's moving its way slowly on up towards Newtown, uh, so at the moment I don't see anything too impressive in terms of any tornado on the ground, in northern Fairfield County. What is impressive are these bands of rain that are going to ramp up even more as we head through this evening, overnight tonight, into tomorrow morning. Again, the potential is there for some towns to pick up a half a foot or more of rain. So that has to be the really big emphasis right now as far as the flash flood watches or the flood watches in effect for the entire region. And you can see right now, nothing going on for the most part on the 95 quarter. You guys up here in northern areas of the state, the Hartford area, you've had nothing all day long today. So for some of you, you've gotten through this Labor Day without any big weather problems. Other places, like over here in northern New London County, you've been raining a lot all day today, and that's the reason why with this batch that's come in now, you've got a flash flood warning till 7.30. Again, if you're heading out towards the Providence area, this whole area just coming off of uh, near Route 6 is, is pretty much a mess out here. Uh, so, yes, uh, this area moving very slowly. We've got, again, areas just uh, near Middletown uh, that are ramping up as well. And then Waterbury, you're getting into some tough action now. Travel along I-84 from Danbury to Southbury into Waterbury now. Very heavy rain. And, again, this is the kind of pull over to the side of the road kind of rain. This is the can't see very well in front of you. This can be very dangerous travel, not just from the big puddles that you'll run into, but the fact that you can't see. And there's some lightning in here as well. Uh, so again, this is going to be how it goes all night long. Tornado warning, over. As we just said, uh, we could see that there was nothing there anymore. Uh, so the National Weather Service out of Upton, New York, has canceled the tornado warning. So that's good. 
Yeah, it looked like it was just up there in the cloud, which is fine. Leave it up there. That's all we care about. Again, the situation at hand right now, we're not looking for tornadoes. We're looking for big time flooding, and that's going to be the case now. So the tornado warning is now canceled, over, not happening, as this cell has just kind of dissipated a little bit in Fairfield County. I just saw a flash come on through the studio. Oh, it's Ashley Baylor. Ashley's here. All right, so at the moment, no more tornado warning. Going to see if there's going to be a flash flood warning coming out for areas along Interstate 84 as you move out of Newtown over to Waterbury, over towards Middletown. Again, Hartford area, not doing anything. New Haven, not so sure you've had a drop of rain today. That's the case along the 95 corridor. So you guys have been in pretty good shape this Labor Day. That will change overnight tonight as we'll get ourselves into heavy rain everywhere overnight tonight into tomorrow and a lot more flash flood warnings like this one right here in northern or London County. There'll be a lot more of those popping up as we head through the overnight and on into tomorrow. So a lot of extra time needed as you move on out tomorrow morning. Got to tune in uh, to Gil and the gang first thing tomorrow to find out what's going on. And of course, we'll be here, right here for you with everything you need to know as far as what is happening. News. Aid app. So important to have. Get that News 8 app and come on right back here for News 8 starting at 5 p.m. We'll see you then.